fundraising everywhere. 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 Hello, hello. Hello. Kefek? Anna Mniha. I think we're live and everybody, this is being broadcast on not only this uh, site, Fundraising Everywhere, but also on multiple social media sites. So please uh, write comments. You can talk to us. You can engage with us. We'll, we will see them. But hello. Thank you for spending uh, what in Toronto, and I understand, I think London is possibly the nicest Sunday of lockdown and possibly the, the last lockdown the global have together, except Sweden. Yeah. Um, and so I thought, what better way to spend my birthday than with A, my dear friend, May, and B, with some uh, new musician friends that I want the world to hear and who are working on projects like so many musicians around the world and in Toronto are, are doing to uh, not only create music during this uh, extraordinary time, but I like to think uh, create the music opportunities of the future. And that's what we're doing here. So is my birthday. Yay. Happy Everybody. birthday. It, it is. Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, everybody. Um, and we're go we're not gonna talk for very much right now. We're just saying thank you so very much to everybody for spending the time with us, for donating to what I think are some of the most outstanding musical um, uh, collaborations and individual m musicians I've ever heard. And as well, of course, to Fundraising Everywhere for hosting us, so yay. Um, like, comment, and share anything you like on uh, social. Um, I will tell you a quick story about May, and then we're going to get right to the music. Again, not many people know about the friendship that May and I have. Uh, well, it's going on five or six years, I think. And here's the reason why. There's an expression, uh, if you, if, what is it? If, you've, if, you've, if you spot it, you've got it. Mm -hmm. And I think, <laughs> May, you and I began uh, our friendship through a project, probably was Ripple Refugee Project. Correct. Yes, absolutely. And yeah. you, like me, there's no time for, hi, Amy. There's no time for small talk. There's no time for uh, chilling out, as, as they say. And we just get on. We do our projects together. And here we are later. Yeah. Um, five years later, we have actually never sat down together and chilled out. So this for us is self-care, pandemic self-care. We sure. wanted to do something together. I'm really not sure how it, it landed um, at this concert. Um, well, I remember, Rebecca, um, you posted something on, on the group most page. You, you, you were wondering how can you put your hands on someone who plays Oud. And I told you, I forgot, yeah. <laughs> don't look no more. I can I can connect you with an amazing Oud player, um, which will all of us Perfect. will uh, um, very soon. So this is how it, this project is started, and it was like a year ago. And let me ask you something. Um, I know you as as my project friend. I know you as a published author. I know you as a professional actress. But you also come to all my concerts and you come to every group news that's done. We haven't talked about this. What, what does music mean to you and your family? And this is what this event is about over the next hour, hour and a half. It's about celebrating music and musicians of Toronto and sharing that with the world. But I actually have never asked you, uh, what is music to you? How did you grow up with music? Well, like I think everybody loves music, and I'm I'm not different from the Middle Eastern families. We were raised on songs from Egypt, from Lebanon. My father was a huge um, fan of music, and he would always he had a very beautiful voice, and he would play all um, the songs, even though they were to us like old songs. 
but he he managed to teach us how to appreciate the music and this is where it comes from i'm not a musician myself but i appreciate the music well and you do uh, and i know something of you you have perfect pitch i know this to be true we've tested it and whenever you come to one of my concerts you are enraptured in it and i've also seen you uh, when you've invited me to some middle eastern concerts you are transformed but how about we bring on our family to say a quick hi and then we'll get on to yes. the music. Yeah, we could talk a bit more Let's afterwards. So I would love to bring on, again, it's my birthday. I really am quite private person about my birthday, but you get one pandemic birthday. So I would love to bring on my mom. I would love to bring on my sister. And I would love to see your mom again and your sister if they're hi. there. Hi, ah! Jennifer. Hi. <laughs> Happy Hi, birthday, Rebecca. Rebecca. Hi, Thank Happy you. Birthday. My brother-in-law and sister on the right there. It's my mom Hi. there, Samo. Hi, mom. Hi, Manal. Okay. Salam alaikum, Samo and Manal. Manal, come to the, to the camera. <laughs> and these are these are our families, and we both wanted to honor you because you brought us up in a household of music and arts. So thank you, mom. Thank you, Very Samo. Good. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Happy Mother's Hi, Day. Thank you. Let's hear the music. Rebecca. Huh? <laughs> I'm, I'm thanking Jennifer for bringing Rebecca. That's why. Oh, <laughs> I just feel very, very lucky to have. Get up. Thank you. It's amazing. Love you all. And let's hear some music now. Uh, I'm gonna, we have a, a, a concert here. It's quite extraordinary. We have three extraordinary musicians. Some of them didn't know each other. Um, I didn't know two out of the three. And they've come together at my and May's request. Um, they did what so many people on the internet are doing. And it fills me. Um, and it is essential, I would say. They are creating concerts oh, to get yeah. us through this. And I haven't seen an oud clarinet guitar combo, certainly that spans Middle Eastern fusion, Western music. And so for the next hour, hour and a half, you'll hear uh, some pre-recorded quarantine projects just for today and some live performances. So let's hear our first piece now. Yes. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Thank you so much for coming.
Wow. wow. You know, even I know that song. Yes. Is it, po is it popular? It is. It is a folk music, but uh, my my and uh, my surprise was when growing up that most of the songs that we used to know as children were actually Turkish folk music from the Ottoman uh, era that we brought into our culture. And we when you say we, you mean the Syrian culture? Is that right? Um, I no, not just the, the Arab culture. The, the Levant area, at least. Okay. That's what. Um, I know of so yeah. How did how did that sound to you? I love it. Um, there were not enough microtones for me, but <laughs> <laughs> I know that. So let's ask uh, Madge to come on. I want Madge sure. to talk to us about this. Hi, Madge. I can meet you one day in person, uh, and everybody in the world. Uh, wow, I wish I had known. Uh, well, you've been in Canada for two years. It's almost three and a half. Okay, okay. Well, I uh, wish we had uh, met before, but we haven't met in person. Yeah. Um, thank you for doing this project. I've heard you online because I just think about my whole life as a music festival and I think about music all day and I love Middle Eastern music and I am a classical player and we don't mm -hmm. seem to cross over. Um, and in my older age, um, I I am more interested in um, big band and some more jazzy things, and I love 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 Middle Eastern music. And it seems to me, and I'll stop talking now. And I'd love to hear your point of view on this because you're studying at Humber. How much does uh, you're a clarinet player? I mean, are you playing are you playing Brahms symphonies or are you what are you doing on the clarinet, Madge? And how? Oh. Um, how how does it work? How does Middle Eastern work on, on the oh, Okay. First of all, like thank you for having us. I'm really glad to be here. And so Okay, we lost your sound. Yeah. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. Yep. Yep. I can't wait to um, until like this um, hard times like to finish and and hope to see you like live and play together. So first of all, I am Maj Sukar. I'm a Syrian, uh, almost Canadian, just waiting my test to be Canadian, final exam. <laughs> so uh, I play clarinet, or we can say Middle Eastern clarinet. Uh, and I'm uh, second year in Humber, doing uh, almost second year. I just in finished the jazz like, program? In the jazz program. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like, first of all, I want to talk about the last video. So the tune called Askadar, or the Turkish Askadar. So the Turkish Askadar is like a folk music. People used to sing, like in our like culture, people sing for like three or four things, which is like maybe the harvest. They're celebrating the harvest. And what is your culture exactly? You're um, to... um, me, I am Syrian, mm -hmm. and originally I'm like Assyrian. So Assyrian. the Assyrian. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, people like sing for harvest or sing for beautiful ladies for beautiful ladies or like sing for gods. That's the old nations like how, how they how they used to to play music for those three things. So this tune I don't know the meaning in Turkish, but in our culture like we have it I, we have it in Syria by the name Ghazali Ghazali. We have it in Iraq. They they call it like Ya Aduri. It's a different title, different words, but it's the same melody. They have it in um, in Egypt, Yabanat uh, Skenderia. Like we sing this like folk music. Basically, there is no proof it's a Turkish. <laughs> Would the Turks no. agree with you on that? <laughs> uh, I don't care. Like I know this, the strongest he, like he wrote the the history. So, the maybe it's a Greek, maybe it's Balkan, okay. Maybe it, maybe it's Armenian. Half of the song we used to sing in Syria it originally Greek, before to be Ottomans. I did not know. Oh, of course. And half of the scales we sing in Syria and Turkey, which is Assyrian, and it's wrote like three thousand years before. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like it's it used to be, it used to come from Babylon and Sumerian. And the old and the old culture and old civilization in Iraq. So basically, this the scales. It's not Arabic or or Turkish or Greek. 
it's totally Middle Eastern. Thank you. Thank you for that. 100%. <laughs> yes, I'm, coming, I'm, I'm coming from a Syrian family, which is our language is Aramaic. It's the same language of Jesus right. Christ. I don't speak. My father and mother speak. Mm -hmm. So, but when I was a young boy going to church, like they used to teach us these scales, and it's written like 800 years before the Ottomans, like starting their like their country or their like empire. Hmm. So I just want to clarify that. And all these like like folk song and Bintu Shalbiya is coming is coming after this maybe. It's the same. People they sing it in Greece and they sing it in Turkey and they sing it in Balkan countries like um, Bulgaria, and people sing it in Arab words. It's long story short, like uh, it's a Middle Eastern music. And if we want to say, I'd like to be more specific, it's a Mediterranean music. Okay. Yep. Egypt, uh, Lebanon, Turkey, Greece, Balkan, they all have um, like um, shores on the Mediterranean Sea. Yep. Cool. So uh, talking about clarinet, like, I'm yep. playing B flat clarinet. Mm -hmm. It's the same as Western clarinet. Mm -hmm. I I I play like Turkish one, the G, and play with like it's used different system, fingering system. We call it like the Albert system, or the old system of the um, of the fingering. But the secret is it's the same like any B the flat keys clarinet. Are the same. Uh, everything is same. But you the use a reed. Is, I use a reed, but the difference coming here. Okay. So we use oh. we use open mouthpieces with the soft reeds. Okay. When you have open mouthpiece, you can like you can like input more air inside the instrument. And when you have a soft reed, so you can pin the notes to make the microtones. The microtones, okay. It's all physics. So this is huh. like Or this is piano E or D. This is Middle Eastern D. I love it. <laughs> okay. And it's it's Turkish, actually. It's we can say it's a Turkish one. Because Arabs and Turkish, they have different microtones, same as Turkish and Armenian. So it's culturally different. So if you say, if I said like, you should play like quarter tones or microtonal. So the microtonal is different from country to country. Wow. Even Iraq, they have different microtones from Egypt and both are Arabs. And here in, uh, listen, I'm not a composer. Uh, <laughs> I do love new music, but in Western tradition, when you introduce qu quarter tones or microtones, it's it's kind of a big deal. And it's cutting that beat into like true quarters. So the true quarters. I, yeah, no, it's good. So play something for us. Okay. So as an educator, uh, I'm going to talk about, talk about two basic forms in Arabic music. So we have a form, like the first form called like longa. So the longa is a form which is the fast one. Okay. And always it's two four. We use two four. Okay. And we call and we call the longa by the name of the composer. Perfect. Like now now I'm calling like I'm I'm playing like uh, a longa called like sabuch longa sabuch. The composer's name is sabuch afendi. Okay. Uh, afendi mean master. Or uh, Mister, yeah. Mister, um, and um, it's basically on scale. I'm gonna play the scale for you now. This is the scale. Basically, it's uh, it's major scale, but flat too. Okay. That's okay. 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 So I'm gonna do some improvisation on that scale. And we call it Hijaz card. Then I'm going to play the longa. Thank you. Look forward to it.
Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Hey. Thank you. I don't want to put you on the spot. I actually don't know the answer, but can you do Rhapsody in Blue, the beginning, on that clarinet? And I don't know, actually. Oh. I don't, don't do it. You know. uh, okay, I have a different what? piece now. Uh, uh, let me try. Let me try. Uh, okay. I mean, we can go back yeah. a little bit. Uh, oh, you can. Yeah, you can. That's good. Good <laughs> microtones. Uh, I need the sheets. <laughs> Not a problem. That was amazing. You know, uh, before you go, um, we're gonna do uh, Farouz physio now, and yep. th thank you, Madge, for allowing it because when, thank you. I, well, when I asked you, can you do Farouz? You looked at me and you said, "That's what my parents listen to." And you say, I say, probably your parents' age. So I love Farouz. So everybody everyone, loves Farouz. Everyone let's, loves Farouz. Let's hear some Farouz, everyone.
Just what? It's just the music, the sound, and Fairuz. We have uh, emotional connection to Fairuz and her music. Look, she's behind me. Where? Living room. Like in real life? <laughs> no, the painting of Fairuz. Okay, well, that's I, that's significant. Why? Yeah. Why do you have a picture of, of Fairuz in your house? I think this is, uh, it goes for all Lebanese and Syrians, uh, and maybe recently in the entire Middle East. She's an iconic singer. The time that she came on um, with the music, they they talk about the simpler time, um, or village life where innocence was still there, the love was innocent and a little bit boyish. Um, and everybody, of course, loves all of her songs and all of the... Is, is it kind of old-fashioned sounding or is it just... No. Old, uh, eternity and it's not old I think, I think it's eternal, classic, eternal. It doesn't, it doesn't feel old at all. Like, I think that's my personal opinion, at least. Yeah, someone from Indonesia watching from Afghanistan. Hello. Wow. Yeah. So I want to make a point before I forget. Um, mm -hmm. You'll see, um, we have one more video. Um, the musicians are collaborating on SMUL, S M U L E, which is one of the only collaborative apps that you can really do this and sync the music. And I want to. <sighs> I knew about Smule well before the pandemic and mm. it so lends itself to pandemic because my friend Dave Olson, uh, who is a co-founder of Jazzology, has been one of my obsessions over the last year. Uh, you can find them on Facebook and you can find them uh, on uh, Jazzology, I don't know the website, I never go there, jazzologylive.com. And Jazzology is a jazz group, again, founded by, by a Torontonian. Today we're celebrating the music of Toronto and the, and the innovation of, of Toronto. And they have, um, their band is 100 people. Their combos, they come in and out. Sometimes they do big band. They most often do jazz combos. 100 people from every continent except Antarctica. Wow. So, Dave and his co-founder, Daniel Hutchins, who's the sax player, he's in, um, I think it's the U.S. and Texas, but uh, actually sent me a list. Their um, trombonist is in the U.K. Their trumpeters are in Japan and Indiana. Guitarist is in France. The violinist is a doctor in California. Lots of doctors and nurses in the group, actually. Shout out to the healthcare workers during this time, of course, <laughs> and those are making music still for us as well. So that's how um, this has come together, the, the video components of it. So again, massively uh, impressed, especially uh, and grateful to Majid and Iman and Edward for figuring that out and today for all your help. And Jazzology is one of the biggest musical inspirations I've had in a few years, um, as is this concert. So mm -hmm. thank you so very much. Speaking of friends, let's bring some on. I've got. I, I would like to call. I would like to call Edward on. No, we're we're gonna talk to my. We're gonna bring a few friends on, and then we'll call on Edward. Oh, I, amazing! Okay, you are one of them, so you must stay. You must stay. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who's there? Ah! Oh, ah, okay, here I am. <laughs> had a few years um, as is this concert. So thank you. I can hear feedback. Somebody uh yeah, bring some on. I've got I, I would yeah. like to call I would like to call Edward. Can you hear on. feedback or is it no, just me? There we go. Okay. Jillian, hello. Okay. You're one of them, so you must stay. You must can hear feedback, Jillian. Are there two devices Hi. On in this? Uh, this on is awesome. Good. Now we can hear you. This is my best friend Jillian. Everybody, is it, is it me? I'm, Hi, it's Jillian. Me. I'm, I'm. You're fine. You're fine. You're just everything is perfect now. Hi. Uh, Hi. Okay. Okay. Good. Jillian and I have known each other for twenty. Happy years. birthday! Almost. Almost. It's not my birthday, but thank you. Yes. So that's all. <laughs> Jillian Almost, is yes. in the Toronto Symphony Youth Orchestra. Back, Jillian. And my first musical memory with you, Jillian, is of, of how many? Is was buying a Tanya oh, Tucker LP at the Scarborough Town Center cassette, probably. I don't know. Probably a cassette, 
I trying to, that must've been for my dad. I, it certainly wouldn't have been for myself, but yeah, we were on break. I remember we had a concert there and I ran into you at whatever little, little record store was there in Scarborough town center. Oh, and, you know, uh, together? oh we that's were, bad. Okay. Is. Uh, okay. Yeah, we ran into each other. Or okay. maybe, maybe we drifted off there together. That's right. We we, we had no, a quest. No, no, no. We had a quest to find the Tanya Tucker. Set. Anyway, um, yeah, this is. I I just want to thank you for this amazing gift sure. to all of us because I have been enjoying this incredible music. It's just just fantastic. It's such a departure from what I uh, grew up with. From what I play for a living and but it's just such a blessing it just sounds amazing and what amazing musicians so thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you for attending as well we, we, we've had many departures you and i we've we've oh gosh yeah <laughs> out of uh the flying bulgar klezmer band concert we am i allowed to embarrass you we yeah we, yeah, we thought scaling the fence was a good idea because we couldn't get to it Let's. See. I'm trying to think. Um, my my first, my earliest, like shared musical memory of you that had nothing to do with Tanya Tucker, was um, I guess Deb Lit or Departmental Literature Course when I would have been in third year. Yeah, we called and that. And just Death talking Death about Lip. how much. Yes, Death Lit. Yeah, Dead Lip, and um, Brahms' First Symphony, and finding out that when I loved it for exactly the same reasons, um, which included, of course, the gigantic horn solo in the set, in the last movement. Um, but that, yeah. <laughs> horn hangouts for the win. And there have been so many shared musical moments since then, you know, from, from Monteverdi to Mahler to Marilyn Manson and everything in between. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and it's been a riot, but this is, uh, I know your birthday's coming up, but this is your gift to us. So thank you for this. This has just thank been you. a treat to be part of and uh, happy almost birthday. I love you. And I've love got my too. friend Carol here. Carol. Hi, hi. Rebecca, happy birthday. Hi, 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 Jillian. <laughs> Carol literally is about a hundred feet from me, but very close, a dear neighbor and um wow you and i you you consume music as much as i do and first of all are you okay are you are you yeah, doing I'm okay? fine. yeah i'm fine absolutely and this is amazing this is just it is an absolute treat to be here thank you so much you like me are out almost every night of the week um and i have to thank my dear husband richard <laughs> so that can happen and my darling daughter beatrix um for giving me the space to do that but you too carol and and your beloved yeah, and for, uh, for uh, allowing you out to play duets on sunday afternoons yeah, so. <laughs> you, yeah. What, you know, and you are very very close to the pulse of music toronto uh and so my question for you is um how much do you miss it the live stuff you and i do go to and what was the last thing you heard Oh, yeah, I know. And and I have to thank you, Rebecca, because you're the one who really oh. has introduced me to um, house concerts in the 21st century. And I am very grateful for that. Um, but the most recent house concert that I was at with you um, was May 10th, I mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. at, um, uh, featuring David Smith on trumpet and Michael Arnowit on his amazing amazing piano um at michael and Teresa's house here in toronto and i think michael and Teresa are on the call i think i hope so um, i hope and uh and just to say that was so magical and yes. i'm so grateful um it was three days before um covid containment in toronto and i feel so grateful to have been at that concert um and it was very special and uh, and just trust you to you know be out there finding a way to have a house concert um, when you have to take other measures. <laughs> so that's pretty special too. Thank you. The I mean, my role in life is to put pieces together and connect things and be the platform. It's everybody else that does the performing. Well, you always, <laughs> you know, you always say that it's for you. It's about the people and the music. Always. And um, and here we are. Here we are. Thank you all.
I love you. Uh, I love you, Jillian and May. Thank you. And now I'm going to bring on Edward, our guitarist, um, to do his thing. Hi, Edward. Hi, Hi Edward. Hello. How are you, Rebecca? Hi, May. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. First of all, thank you guys for all your hard work. Thank you, Rebecca, for having us. It's been amazing working with you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So what are you going to play for us now? So I'm uh, speaking on Fairuz because it mm. is, as you has mentioned before, um, it is an iconic traditional um, singer for the all Middle East, Eastern uh, countries and the Arab world in general. So I'm going to play something for Fairuz. I'm going to start with Nahna Wal Amar Jiran and Bada uh, Kalabali. Uh, I'm going to do a mix. Bada Kalabali, Nahna Wal Amar Jiran. It's uh, by Rahbani Brothers. Uh, and I just want to mention that um, Fairuz is very um, uh, connected to Rahbani Brothers. Mm -hmm. uh, most of Fairuz's works um, uh, were composed and uh, arranged by Rahbani Brothers. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's, let's ex sorry. Yeah. No, no, you, I think you're the let's, same. Let's explain to Rebecca and uh, the audience what is Nahna Wal Amar Jiran. Um, it means um, we and the, the moon are neighbors. Our neighbors, exactly, exactly. So and, can, uh, can you can you tell her a little bit about that? Okay, so Nahna Wal Amar Jiran means uh, we are um, uh, neighbors with the moon. We are, we and the moon are neighbors. Um, uh, and uh, basically, um, Fairuz speaking about the um, uh, the moon, okay, and uh, and uh, trying to speak about the, the love as well. And the other mm -hmm. one is Bada uh, Kalabali means you are in, you're still in my mind. Still and, in my mind. Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, yeah, it's the same thing for uh, love. So um, uh, I will start with these two. Majid mentioned something very uh, important about the so uh, Fairuz songs in general, uh, uh, the folk songs. And Fairuz mm -hmm. and Rahbani did not go away from this. So a lot of the songs it uh, predict the village life. So we, exactly. the, the moon, are neighbors. There is nothing in between us and the moon. That signifies the village life and how attached to the harvest and to the sky and also, the, um, the nights um, where everybody comes together for, for dining and dancing at the same time, right? Exactly, 100%. And uh, one more thing, um, um, from the musical perspective, um, they did the mixing between the harvest and the village music with the uh, Western classical music. Mm -hmm. So that's why Rahbani brothers are very important. They are iconic as well as Fairuz. And um, uh, I will I will play right now. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Please do. And I, I want to make one comment. Um, I can think of three opera scenes that uses the, the, the moon in the same way. And the fact that you just said there's a Western connection is fascinating to me. And thank you, Edward. I really hope to meet you one day. I think you are also about five blocks from me here in Toronto as well. So yes, yes. Hopefully when, I, yeah, when everything ends, of course we're gonna, okay, let's go. So. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yes, so Nahna will Amar Jiran at the beginning and then Bada Kalabali. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I tried to mix both of them together. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, thank you. It was beautiful. Thank Good. you so much. Do you have any questions for him, Rebecca? No. Uh, I see it's an electric guitar you're doing right now. So actually, that's an uh, electro acoustic guitar. Electro, okay. So, yeah, basically, uh, originally, I'm a classical guitar player from Syria, Aleppo. So I, uh, I have my master's in classical guitar. And uh, then I switched to Middle Eastern guitar, um, uh, some jazz and blues stuff. But uh, yeah, basically, I'm a classical guitar player. And uh, yeah, that's a so micro acoustic. When you choose uh, electric or electroacoustic, is it Fender or Gibson? So uh, actually, um, I'm a fan of, of both of them because each one um, works for something um, better. OK, so for Fender, I like it for more bluesy stuff. Um, uh, Gibson, I like it more for the jazz stuff. So yeah, I like both, both of them. This one now, it's a Yamaha guitar. So that's a classical Yamaha, electro classical Yamaha guitar. I'm going to show you like. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, there are two two horns for the horn of sun. They're both mm -hmm. Yamaha. One, oh, is, nice. yeah. one is the Fender mm -hmm. of Yamaha, and mm -hmm. one is the Gibson of yeah. horn. So yeah. the Geyer wrap versus the Krusty wrap. So I, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Yay, Yamaha. Yamaha. Yeah. Yamaha. <laughs> Look forward to your next piece, Edward. What are you playing? Okay, next piece, I'm going to do some improvisation on a very famous uh, guitar, Spanish guitar piece. It's called uh, uh, Enter Dos Aguas. It's by the legend uh, Paco de Lucia. So I'm going to do the melody and I'm going to do some improvisation trying to uh, mix the Middle Eastern music with the Spanish music. Nice, okay. beautiful. Yeah. So let me go. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time and all the beauty. Thank you. Okay. Do, okay. You, have, uh, do you have one more, Edward? Um, uh, if we have time, I do have one more. I can do it at the end if you want, or it's up to you. You know what? Let's. Uh, <laughs> oh, <where's> my, <laughs> um, uh, I would love. That was phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thing. This is this is phenomenal. Let's see if we can get Ayman on, uh, our oud player. Suspect yeah. we're having some technical difficulties. If so, oh, hello, Ayman. Hello, how are you? No difficulty. Ayman. Hey, how are you? Good. We have been trying nice to get to you. you on for. Like a year, yes, right, yes. Rebecca? I can't, well, I can't last you. 72 hours, I, we've I have had a problem a with intervention. The... <laughs> yeah. Uh, Good. So, Edward, we're going to say goodbye okay. for now. I want to hear you your, okay. your last piece. Sure. Thank um, you so much. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Edward. Uh, Ayman. Hello. Hi, Ayman. How are you? How are you, my? I'm nice Ayman. to see you. Best birthday Best ever. I have, so. I have some problems with the uh, smile. So I, I can't hear you. Can you, can you hear me? I, now I can, yes. Okay, put, put your headphones on. Let's hear um, your your piece. Um, so the title of the piece is Nebtidi Mnin al Hikaya. Yeah. Um, where it's, I think it, it translates into where are we going to start this love story or something about that. Uh, okay. Do you wanna do you wanna talk about it, Ayman? I can. Please. For please, you, if you like. please, if you if you want to translate, to just, me, just the title. Thanks so much. The title, the composer. The uh, composer uh, is Muhammad Abdul Wahab. Of uh, course, he is one of the most famous musicians in Okay, can you translate? One of the iconic, the most iconic composers in the Middle East, and he is from Egypt. Hmm. Uh, and also, he is a singer. He is also a singer. He's also a singer. One of the most important singers who sang in, in Egypt in the, uh, the beginning of the 20th century. Ayman, uh, 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 Okay, so um, it sang by uh, Abdul Halim Hafiz, um, I think, uh, and Abdul Halim Hafiz is one of the most uh, um, important singers in, in Egypt as well, and very, very much popular and loved by everybody yeah. in the Middle East. Okay. Ayman, we can't wait. Okay. Do you need thanks. to wear the headphones, Ayman? Yeah, now I am ready to play. Perfect. Okay, thanks so much. Ayman is playing uh, for, for us. It's a picture in uh, Toronto, in Mississauga. Perfect.
introduction of a yes. song and yes. the song i think it's 45 minutes long yeah right ah بالضبط هي بيبقى تبقى فيه اه يعني في المقدمات الموسيقيه بتبقى يعني بتقدم الفرقه بيقدموا الموسيقى زي موسيقى اليه ويطلق عليها الموسيقى الاليه وبعدين بقى بيبقى يجي دور المغني يعني هنا في تاليف موسيقي وفي تلحين يعني عبد الوهاب هنا عمل مقدمات موسيقيه طويله جدا وفي نفس الوقت المغني بيغني الفورم اللي هو الغنائي. Okay, so if I understood right, this is like kind of showing that before the actual song starts, they are showing the muscles of the musicians and also the composer before before the actual song starts. They show the what? Before showing like. Music, music muscles. Oh, oh, like literally or? No, like so it's the introduction is just to show. Not oh, I see. Okay, like, like an overture. The capabilities of oh. the musicians and the music just before um, it starts. And you mentioned something about ta'lif musiqi and ta'lif what? We have two forms, the music and the music and the الصيغ الغنائية والصيغ الموسيقية احنا طبعا موجودة في كل العالم بس م. المشكلة عندنا في مصر وفي منطقة الشرق والوطن العربي ان احنا شعوب غنائية فالناس مش بتحب تسمع مزيكا بس فالمؤلفين الموسيقيين بدأوا يعني يمزجوا الموسيقى الالية مع اللي هو يعني مع الفورم الغنائي عشان يقدر بس This, this is something actually very nice um, to know. So he, um, Ayman is explaining that in the Middle East, the population, the people, they love to sing. So this, the songs, um, they don't just like to listen to instrumental music. So there is al always the combination, a, a song must be sang, basically. So it's not just instrument, instrumental music. Am I right, Ayman? Uh, لا اوكي كنت عم تعرف باللي انت عم تحكيه بالنسبه آه، 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 الغناء مع الانسترومنتال ميوزك 
اه قدروا يجمعوا يعني المؤلفين الموسيقيين قدروا يعملوا ميكس ما بين الانسترومنتال فورم وذ سينجينج فورم جاست تو جاست لان هم طبعا لان الشعوب منطقه الشرق بتحب الغناء اكتر فاذا yeah. موسيقى فقط مش بيبقى انترست يعني انترستنج تو اوكي سو اتس ذا ميكسينج بين سينجينج اند انسترومنتال ميوزك شو في شيء ثاني حابب تقول لنا عنه بالنسبه لهذه الاغنيه؟ آه طبعا هنا هو ادخل الالات الحديثه وادخل الجيتار وعمل مزج ما بين الموسيقى الشرقيه والموسيقى الغربيه ولكن في الغنى كان دايما بيبقى حريص على انه يكون السمات والهوية بتاعت الموسيقى الشرقية والمصرية بشكل عام يعني ممكن هو استخدم آلات آلات غربية كتير دخل آلات غربية. Okay. So in this song, the composer he used he did a mix of um, uh, Western instruments with uh, Oriental instruments, but he made sure whenever there is the singing part, it has the Arabic and the Oriental um, characteristic um, uh, that, that shows in the song. Once again, swing it, swinging it back to opera, which I know well, um, it's all often um, these days kind of embarrassing how Oriental music is portrayed in some of the uh, well-loved and performed uh, operas of the 18th, 19th century. So I'm actually curious to see how Western music is portrayed in uh, in this piece. Ayman, if you understood the question, I wanted to see how the music of the Arabic is portrayed in this piece. It was the guitar and the guitar. الحال يستخدموا فيها آلة السكس وحاولوا يبقوا أو إن هتلاقي الأورج موجود وبيعزف في خاصة في المقامات المتشابهة مع الموسيقى الغربية يعني في مقامات في سكيلز متشابهة مع المقامات يعني المقامات الغر... المقامات العربية أو الشرقية في بينها بعض ال... ما فيهاش ميكروتونز فهو هنا بيستخدم الآلات الغربية بحيث إن هي تقدر تعزف ال... الألحان اللي هي ما تبقاش فيها مشاكل Okay, so basically they used um, guitar and in many songs you can see the organ, uh, the org as well, the keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, I think Ayman explained that they managed, they, uh, they had, the whenever there was an opportunity to bring the Western, whenever there is um, no uh, conflict between the Arabic scale and the Western scale. They brought the Western scale nice. to, into the piece, the musical piece. One last question before Ayman begins. Yes, please. Uh, I have to prioritize this because it's my niece. Anya wants to know why the neck of the oud is bent. But I'm just asking why the يعني ليش مش دغري؟ هو يعني مسألة تصنيع الآلات الموسيقية في في عموما بشكل عام ما يعني ما حصلش بيها أي نوع من التغيير أو التطوير لفترة طويلة جدا وإن كان في بعض المحاولات لكن هو في أشكال عديدة جدا للعود لكن ده الشكل التقليدي وهو مرتبط بنسب رياضية يعني المفترض إن الآلة <تصفيق> الآلة لو احنا زودنا في حجم الأصعة مثلا بيختلف الصوت في الصندوق المصوت دوت وعشان كده دايما هم بيحافظوا على الشكل التقليدي علشان يحافظوا على نفس الكواليتي أو نفس الصوت مع الكعفة كمان الكعفة مع دوت أطاريق يعني ده ايه. اسمه البنجق ولكن ايه. هو ليه كمان يعني الأوتار هنا ده في المفاتيح دي المفاتيح اللي هي بتبقى موجوده مع الاوتار وفي تعديلات بسيطه لكن ده ممكن يتعمل اسمه البنجه او الرقبه النيك ديت ممكن تبقى مستقيمه ولكن بتغير شويه في الصوت اوكي يعني يعني هو كمان حتى حاولوا يعملوا الاحجام احجام مختلفه ولكن زي ما احنا عارفين مثلا ان كل الحجم الصندوق المصوت متغير 
كل ما بيتغير الصوت يعني احنا مثلا عندنا قلت الكونتر باس صندوق المصوت كده بس اعطينا شويه اللي ترى اه طب ليك حق صح اوكي ايمن ايمن واز اكسبلينينج هاو ذا عود از ا فيري تراديشنال ميوزك بيس and they they always try to keep it as such because any change of the curve will change the sound of uh, the music that comes of it. I think he said they try to uh, maybe change a little bit of the shape, but not really. Yeah, but on a, on a Western guitar, the, the fretboard, if that's what it's called, is straight. Why are the pegs and the fretboard on a perpendicular perpendicular angle, different from Edward's guitar. Maybe Edward knows the answer. <coughs> I'm sure Iman does too. كل ما يعني كل ما بنحاول إن إحنا يعني هو الجيتار تقريبا يعني ألا مشابه للعود بس بقى يعني إحنا عارفين إنه الموسيقى في أوروبا كانت مقامية في القرن السبعتاشر. تحولت الى السلالم في فرق بين السلالم والمقامات هاي ترجمها بين مقامات وسلالم المسافات السلم اسمه السلم الرياضي المعدل اللي عملوا باخ على الكلافي كورد والهارب سكورد يعني اوروبا تحولت في القرن مش عارف اقولها ازاي بقى طيب يعني انا عارف ان هي شويه معلومات متخصصه شويه ولكن ببساطه احنا بنحاول انه العود لما لو الرقبه مستقيمه ممكن يغير في في, في او طول الوتر ونسبته يعني انا المفترض انه هنا طول الرقبه للطول دوت يعني في ابعاد مهمه جدا مرتبطه بالجزء ده اللي هو والرقبه دي والفرس اللي بيتثبت عليها الاوتار فلازم التصنيع لما يكون في تطوير لابد انه يحافظ على النسب اللي هي تحافظ لان احنا بنعزف منظومه مقاميه عشان كده ما تفضل شكرا ثانك يو سو ماتش ايمن ذات واز فيري تكنيكال اي ثينك اونلي كلاسيكال ميوزيشنز ويل انديرستاند ذس Okay, thank you, Ayman. We're going to so have much. you back for your third composition afterwards. Um, thank you. Shukran. Thank you so much, Shukran. Thank you so much. Come back. You're going to come back. But um, I'm going to invite on uh, one quick friend, um, and then we're going to hear the, the last quarantine video and hear more uh, from Edward and, um, oh, Jen. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You like musicals, I can see from your shirt. Yes, I wore my cat shirt today. It still well, could fit. This, this, <laughs> it's my party, right? Okay. <laughs> um, so Jen Love is an iconic uh, fundraiser with her business partner, John Lepp. They're the agents of good. Um, deep collaborators is that the right word with um fundraising everywhere and simon who's yes nikki bell who are producing this for us thank you yes um and <laughs> so i you and i have been uh colleagues that way for years um uh, more recently we call ourselves the twin flames of feminism and i appreciate your support in my in my journey there over the last number of years but i don't actually have a clue What do you think about music? And I'm actually scared to ask because, uh, you know, it's it's everything to me. So, uh, <laughs> but you did. Um, this is my 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 spark of hope for my twin flame friend. You did um, WhatsApp me the other day a pandemic piano man performed by your uh, your son. It was lovely. My 15 year old son. Yes. Well, I think you call it a giant, a gentle giant, was that it? He's a gentle giant, yes, he is. But, but, giant. but let me ask you, it's actually, you know, somebody just texted me, I think I'm getting a musicology lesson. Well, my degree's in musicology, so great. You know, this is a lot of what this is about. Uh, but uh, from a qualitative uh, research point of view, my dear friend and twin flame, what what is music like in your house? I have actually zero idea. Well, so my 15-year-old son and my 13-year-old daughter both, both play piano and cello. 
and my husband plays guitar. So there's music around our home all the time and we're constantly listening to music. And one of the reasons why I wore my cat shirt is because my parents raised me going to live music and performance and theater all my life. Gen X, right? <laughs> Gen X. And so I've, I've done the same with my kids. And so my kids love all kinds of live music and it's been fantastic to plug into a little bit of live music here today because we've missed it. Um, it's, but, filtered, yeah. it's filtered. How do you feel about that? I'm actually curious. What do you mean? It's live, but it's filtered through the internet. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good question. For me, it's been a very similar experience to the energy and enthusiasm of live music. These performers have been amazing today and what the work they put into this, it feels live to me in that kind of way of knowing that it's someone's um, specific performance. And so it's it's been a real ray of sunshine and I'm happy to be here to do this, to celebrate your birthday. Seems like a perfect tribute to you. Oh, thank you from very so much. many people. And there's so many people from you know our fundraising world who are commenting and sharing. And so we're all just so happy to be here to celebrate your birthday. And it's a beautiful way to do that. Thank you. Are Jen and Rebecca related? No. And is that my cousin? <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. Uh, well, we are, I mean, related in the, in the like apart, not alone family version of families, right? So yeah. yes, we're related. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming and celebrating and donating um, your amazing uh, agents of good supports Toronto music through the work you do in the nonprofit sector. And um, so grateful to you for that. Thank you so much. Oh, so grateful to you. Thank you, Twin Flame. Bye, my Twin Flame. We're going to hear the final quarantine video now. Thank you so much.
would like to talk about that, but we, uh, I think we're running out of time. Well, uh, take, take, take 20, 30 seconds. So, um, um, and then we will, we will finish. Thank you. This is, this is a folk uh, song uh, played by Saeed Darwish, also one of the most amazing uh, composers, and but he was popular and um, uh, appealed, appealed to the poor population, appealed to the simple people. So that's why everybody loved his music. Saeed Darwish, Bint Shalabiya, that was uh, the guys uh, played it. Thank you so much. And let's bring Ayman for uh, piece number two. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna bring. I actually want to bring on uh, our host because. Oh yes. Uh, I thought this would be an hour, and I didn't want to inconvenient um, Simon, uh, who is hosting us from Ireland. So please come on, Simon. Hi, Simon. Hello. How are you guys? Yeah. I'm Thank enjoying you so this. Much. This is my uh, best birthday ever. Um, Happy birthday, Rebecca. Well, thank you. But, um, <laughs> I, you know, I, I just I also want to acknowledge my privilege of being able to do something like this for my birthday. And um, I am deeply concerned about uh, the arts and music. Uh, I always was and I always thought something needed to be a bit different uh, post pandemic. I really want to bring forward some of you know what we've learned today and, and some of the amazing uh, collaborations musicians have done on the internet. Um, and now slowly as we open up. So that, that is my, my deep, deep, deep passion in life. So, and you made it happen, Simon. I, how did this happen? I, um, I hate I public speaking. I can't even remember. It was, huh? it was only it, we, we only started about a week ago, and I still well, I know. I can't remember what we what, how it started. I said, "Can you? I want to do this thing, and I don't know even how to begin to produce it." And um, I also want to give a shout out right now to Rory um, uh, McLeod of Toronto. Again, this is a celebration of Toronto as well of pocket concerts because he gave me a bit of advice about how to produce a, a an event like this. So, Rory, thank you so much for what you and Emily do for Toronto through pocket concerts. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I hate speaking and representing my role in life is to be backstage. And I, I said to Simon, how do I, you know, what do I do to pull this off? He said, well, I'll produce it for you. So um, deep thanks and respect and love to you and Nikki of Fundraising Everywhere for believing in this. Um, um, professionally, I also hold you in, you know, the highest, highest regard. Um, and if you want to say a few words about fundraising everywhere, please do, please do. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to bore people, but just we're, um, you know, we're at fundraising everywhere. We, we help people do virtual events and we help people, you know, live stream and, and we've been doing it for a while, even before COVID. So, um, you know, obviously I've known you for a while, Rebecca, and I, I love the idea of this. So we were happy just to help make it happen. Okay, this is a total donation. Um, yeah. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, I've I've just been an, an attendee. I've been sitting watching, and and I've been forgetting to queue up the next video because I've been so engrossed in the players. So it's been great. I'm I'm glad I, I'm glad we could put this on. And I'm glad I could be here. Thank you for and, having and me. to that. Well, thanks for doing it. I mean, yeah. Um, and to all the people have donated to make this happen. I had a a uh, modest goal of five hundred dollars each for each of the three performers. Um we are close to I think twenty one hundred dollars. So Amazing. and please do donate still because these are uh plug your ears <laughs> musicians. Um you know it's not easy being a musician. Toronto is an expensive city. I am desperate to make sure that the quality of music that we've heard today not only survives but is enhanced post covid so thank you to all our donors um and please don't stop donating to these three guys um they each have musical journeys and goals um Iman wants to be able to afford clarinet lessons for his daughter nancy uh Madge, i think is saving for a keyboard which every musician needs for his apartment and Edward would like a mic and a soundboard. So thank you for your donations. That's what you're supporting. And please continue because if there's amazing music like this, virtual or uh, hopefully live again in Toronto, then I'm happy. 
So. I, 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 I mean, the musicians have been such a, a, a lovely trio to deal with, like really easy. And they've just thrown themselves into this. I like, know it's some of it's a bit out of their comfort zone. Can we bring them on? Let's bring them on. Why, we're talking yeah. about them. Yeah. So, uh, them. I, I was enjoying talking behind their back. <laughs> so they could hear us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been great to actually uh, meet these guys and, uh, and get them out there. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, hey. Thank you. Okay. I mean, it's, been, it's been great working with you. <laughs> cool. what, what was interesting? Uh, actually, I have a question for all of you. Uh, Madge, uh, um, Edward, Iman, and then we, we will hear a few more pieces. I'd love to hear another piece from each of you. I would love that. This is being recorded, so um, we can all enjoy this in perpetuity. Um, let me ask you, Edward, first. Um, what was, what was uh, obvious? And what was challenging about this uh, Rebecca's microtone birthday? <laughs> <laughs> no, so so actually, um, uh, let's talk about the hard stuff. Um, yeah. It was uh, it was a little bit difficult to work on Smule. Um, that's the only um, difficult uh, thing that we had. Um, uh, but actually, when when you sent us all the emails and how how can we work on it? it became so much easier. There was um, an email uh, with Dave of Jazzology. I mean, yeah, I, Dave, thank you for Dave as well. So, yeah. The complaints, um, my musical colleagues, uh, like, I mean, I'm amateur, let's let's be real. Um, but even some professional musicians are complaining about the, the lag between laying down tracks when we're all trying to self-isolate. Um, how, how did you fix it in the end? Because on Smule, you are, perfectly layered musically so yeah actually um uh, the challenge uh, on simul is to um stay with the rhythm very accurate and uh because i have a uh, previous experience uh, working in studios so it's uh, and uh, of course i have the metronome next to me I, uh, I was playing and with the metronome very accurate and because i was the first one who recorded that so yeah it was a, a bit challenging, but then uh, the guys helped me a lot as well to uh, figure that out. Thank you. You're Same welcome. Thank you. you. Oh, hi, Newell. Hi, Newell from Yorkshire in the UK. Same question to you, Imagine. What was um, appealing about this project? Because I, I don't know you. I mean, I've I've heard I'm in play before, but I don't know uh, Edward and, and Imagine. I can't wait to meet in real life. I think we're, again, two blocks away in West Toronto. So... Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for Simon. Yeah, you said and yeah. Big thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, and big, big thanks for Dave. Dave, he's the reason. Like uh, he, he, teach, yeah. He, yeah. he, he taught, he taught, he taught me how to use the simul, and I sent the email to Edward, and uh, we tried to record first time and second time, and it was like um, we have like hard times to to sync together mm. then i have to spend another night writing a form for edward and edward like recorded as i wrote it then i record then we i may record and all did a great job i'm glad to work with these amazing musicians and big thanks for you like um for you rebecca oh. to put us together yeah. and my oh, you did a great it. job they, they I, I'm Made it. Yeah. Yeah. I have a like a last thing Dorothy. for you. One more thing. What's that? It's a, it's a birthday. And the main <laughs> thing in the birthday is the happy birthday. So I'm going to play happy birthday for you, but in our way. So Your way is my way. You are you are Syrian Canadians. Your way is our way. But yes, I would like to learn. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Amazing. Those are the microtones. It's, it's the microtonals. It's a microtonal oh, birthday. It is. And there'll be more. Um, so I want to thank everybody. I, I would actually like 
for each of you to play one more piece because this is recorded. We'll have it forever. I would love for each of you, and uh, who cares how long it takes, um, to each play a piece. If, if you would, who, for those who would. And May, 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 May. Yes. Thank you so much for everything. Simon and Nikki, of course, uh, our friends and family that came on, our donors. Mm. Thank you eternally. Thank you. And may there be even a richer music scene in Toronto um, after this. And I have great optimism there will be uh, because of what you did today, Edward. I'm in Majid and... Dave Olson, thank you ever so much for the inspiration and help. So will you will you play one more piece each? Yes, of course. Okay, you, off to you. Uh, who wants to go first? Yeah, I will go first. You go first, oh. and then uh, Ayman, and then Majid, and then we'll we'll say thank you and, until next birthday. Okay, thank okay. you, Rebecca. So I'm going to play um, um, – a piece, actually, I composed this piece. It's called Aleppo. It's talking about my city. I'm from Aleppo, Syria, so it's talking about Aleppo. Uh, so... We've just got some sound difficulties there with Ayman, so we're going to try and get his sound working. Uh, and in the meantime, we'll pop over to Madge and we'll hear um, what he has to say. Here we go. Here's Madge. Okay. Uh, I was talking, when we started talking about Arabic music, there's two forms. So I'm going to talk about the second form, which is called like um, Sama'i or... Sama'i is a rhythm, so it's the time signature for that rhythm is always 10 on 4. So it's dum, ta, dum, 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 ta, ta, 
So now I decided to play Moshah. Moshah, we use this, use the same rhythm. And it's Andalusian, Moshah. Like it's written during the Andalusian era in Spain when the Arabs was there. So called Lama Badayta Fanna. Thank you, Madge. Let's try Iman again. It's all about. Oh, uh, Iman. Yeah, now we can't hear you. Eek. Oh, well. Can't hear you. So, probably say goodbye right now. But the good news is uh, may, I, may I have my co host back, please? Uh, may and Safa, would you come? Um, I will speak on behalf of Toronto. May you speak on behalf of um, anything and everything. Uh, and Simon, you're the host, so please, please close. But uh, I just want to say, eesh, I mean, you can tell I've been revved up over the last uh, hour and a half because this is, uh, I'm so proud of my city um, for this music. You'll have noticed the cherry blossoms. Uh, we're in peak cherry blossom uh, season right now. Not so proud of my municipal government. It's a bit of a political statement to put that out there. Uh, the sledgehammer closing of some of the prominent cherry blossom sites, but all the same, very, very, very proud and determined that Toronto is uh, going to come out of this stronger musically and, and reinvent itself and be a, a model for the world. Um, so thank you all again who donated. Thank you to the musicians. May, thank you for being a neighbor ah. and, a, and a friend. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for everything you've been doing for newcomers, for musicians, and for the music scene in Toronto. I'm so grateful to be able to work with a brilliant position such, such as Majid, Edward, and Ayman, and to give them this um, opportunity to shine, you know, and, and show their beautiful work for everybody. So thank you, Simon, for allowing us to do this. Thank you so much, everyone, and for the yeah for for doing this for free, Simon. It means yeah. so much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you for allowing us to to host it and to be part of it. And it's been wonderful to deal with uh, Rebecca as always, but uh, May and Maj and Edward and and Iman, it's been great. And uh, and I would say just anyone else who wants to make a donation um, and support these musicians, you know, they definitely deserve it. If you go to fundraisingeverywhere.com forward slash Toronto Microtones, you'll see a donate button there. Um, and you'll also re read a little bit more about the guys on that page. 
I was very disappointed that we we didn't get to hear Iman one more time. Um, but obviously, live streams, there's always some tech issues. So do go check out the site. Do find Maj, do find Edward, do find Iman, and uh, keep supporting them um, so they can keep putting out amazing stuff. But yeah, thank you. Thank you to you and fundraising everywhere. Mwah! Happy birthday, Rebecca. Thank you. The be Happy evening. birthday, Rebecca. It would be the best ever, but it, it really was. Bye, everybody. Good evening. Bye-bye.